Welcome to Episode 2 from the Book of Psalms, translated and read by Stephen Mitchell. You're listening to the Sacred Poetry Podcast, brought to you by Whole Self Healing Center. Thank you for tuning in. We're celebrating National Poetry Month each day this April, featuring audiobook selections from the 1989 Anthology of Sacred Poetry, edited by Stephen Mitchell, The Enlightened Heart. Throughout the month, you'll be treated to ecstatic poetry from around the world, across various cultures and religions, spanning 25 centuries of spiritual thought. Today is April 2nd, 2022, and the anthology continues, this time with some of the earliest poetry coming from the Hebrew tradition, with a translation and reading by Stephen Mitchell from the Book of Psalms, which is a text attributed to many authors, including the first man, Adam, Melchizedek, Moses, Abraham, and the sons of Korah. From the Book of Psalms, read by Stephen Mitchell. Psalm 1 Blessed are the man and the woman who have grown beyond their greed and have put an end to their hatred and no longer nourish illusions. But they delight in the way things are and keep their hearts open day and night. They are like trees planted near flowing rivers, which bear fruit when they are ready. Their leaves will not fall or wither. Everything they do will succeed. Psalm 19 The heavens declare God's glory and the magnificence of what made them. Each new dawn is a miracle. Each new sky fills with beauty. Their testimony speaks to the whole world and reaches to the ends of the earth. In them is a path for the sun who steps forth handsome as a bridegroom and rejoices like an athlete as he runs. He starts at one end of the heavens and circles to the other end, and nothing can hide from his heat. God's universe is perfect, awing the mind. God's truth is subtle, baffling the intellect. God's law is complete, quickening the breath. God's compassion is fathomless, refreshing the soul. God's justice is absolute, lighting up the eyes. God's love is radiant, rejoicing the heart, more precious than the finest gold sweeter than honey from the comb. Help me to be aware of my selfishness, but without undue shame or self-judgment. Let me always feel you present in every atom of my life. Let me keep surrendering myself until I am utterly transparent. Let my words be rooted in honesty, and my thoughts be lost in your light, unnameable God, my essence, my origin, my lifeblood, my home. Psalm 104 Unnameable God, you are fathomless. I praise you with endless awe. You are wrapped in light like a cloak. 
You stretch out the sky like a curtain. You make the clouds your chariot. You walk on the wings of the wind. You use the winds as your messengers, thunder and lightning as your servants. You look at the earth, it trembles. You touch the hills and they smoke. You laid the earth's foundations so that they would never be destroyed. You covered the land with ocean. The waters rose higher than the mountains. They fled at the sound of your voice. You thundered, and they ran away. They rushed down into the valleys, to the place you appointed for them. You bounded them, so that they would never return to inundate the earth. You send streams into the valleys, and they flow among the hills. All the animals drink from them. The wild asses quench their thirst. Beside them, the birds of the sky dwell, singing among the branches. You water the hills from the sky. By your care, the whole earth is nourished. You make grass grow for the cattle and grains for the service of mankind to bring forth food from the earth and bread that strengthens the body, oil that makes the face shine, and wine that gladdens the heart. You plant the trees that grow tall, pines and cedars of Lebanon, in which many birds build their nests, and the stork on the topmost branches. The mountains are for the wild goats, the cliffs are a shelter for the rock squirrels. You created the moon to count months. The sun knows when it must set. You make darkness. It is night. The forest animals emerge. The young lions roar for their prey, seeking their food from God. The sun rises. They withdraw and lie down in their dens. Man goes out to his labor and works until it is evening. How infinite are your creatures, unnameable one. With wisdom you made them all. The whole earth is filled with your riches. There is the sea in its vastness where innumerable creatures live fish both tiny and huge. There sharks swim, and the whale that you created to play with. All these depend on you to give them food in due time. You open your hands, they gather it. You give it, they are filled with gladness. You hide your face, they are stricken. You take away their breath, they die, and return their bodies to the dust. You send forth your breath, they are born, and with them you replenish the earth. Your glory will last forever. Eternally you rejoice in your works. I will sing to you at every moment. I will praise you with every breath. How sweet it is to trust you. What joy to embrace your will. May all selfishness disappear from me. And may you always shine from my heart. Psalm 131 Lord, my mind is not noisy with desires. And my heart is has satisfied its longing. I do not care about religion or anything that is not you. I have soothed and quieted my soul like a child at its mother's breast. 
My soul is as peaceful as a child sleeping in its mother's arms. You're listening to the Sacred Poetry Podcast, brought to you by Whole Self Healing Center. Thank you for tuning in.